um, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be reviewing the movie, the Netflix movie, um, To The Bone. So it stars Lily Collin and she yeah, plays a char character who, um, what's her name again? Um, uh, Ellen. Ellen, that's right. Um, and she uh, plays a girl that is anorexic and, um, and she goes into, um, so it goes into this house uh, from a, that's run by a doctor that um he, he has different his um methods of uh, treatment it's a little different to to what other doctors would usually do for someone with anorexia um so basically this film it's um has a um he, before it was released there was a bit of controversy i didn't really notice that it had too much so much controversy because of the topic it's talking about and um, I saw it more so with um 13 reasons why well, because obviously suicide is it's, it's a pretty serious topic um anorexia it, it's a serious topic but I found that there wasn't so much um a controversy surrounding that movie as opposed to 13 reasons why um of, of overall it is a not bad movie. It's not the, my favorite. It's not the best. It's not Oscar worthy winning, but it is not bad movie. Um, it, the the it, it, it I got a bit of vibes from um, the fault of uh, the fault in our stars. It does have a bit of those that um fault in our stars vibes. It because really, um with the group sessions because the group sessions kind of reminded me of when Hazel and what was his name again? I forgot his name, um, went to um, went to the group meetings for the cancer um kids. So and plus the age ranges for the people with anorexia is similar to the age you'll see in the fault in our stars as well. So I really no catch noticed um those fault in our star some vibes with this film. Overall, it is a not bad movie. There, um, as you've probably seen, they they use those dark, um, darker to um, lighting and toning with this um, film, um, as you can probably um, as it is a serious topic, um, anorexia, and a lot of people do suffer this with this condition. So, overall, not bad, and does have that fault in our stars vibe. So now time for some facts. So, like her character in the movie, Lily Collins also suffers, also suffers from an eating disorder as a teenager. Uh, so Netflix bought this for the film for eight million dollars. So uh, this is pretty similar to the first um, fact. Both Lily Collins and director Marty Noxon suffered from an eating disorder. So Lily Collins um, worked closely with a nutritionist um both both during and for several months afterwards to ensure her health um when she lost weight and to to gain weight to her back to her normal healthy weight so ciara bravo um had already played an anorexic girl and uh, liana lobato and lily collins previously worked together in struck in love um, Leslie Bibb's character in Ryan Murphy's um, series popular also suffered from an eating disorder. And that is all for my review for today. I'll see you next week with a new review. I'll see you then. Bye.